Hey, it's Joe Amoya, founder and creator of GPSForLove.com. Today, I want to create a video to address a very important topic, something that I see is happening amongst many of the members of our GPS for Love community. And that is when they're putting out the wrong energy. They're looking like women, but they're coming across like men. So today, the question is, is your energy too masculine for men? Now, I know some of you are going, Joe, what the hell do you mean by that? Well, let me explain. Every human being that is walking the planet has dual energies, masculine and feminine. And when they operate from their natural tendency, that is when they are the best expression of themselves. So for instance, a male operates primarily from his masculine side. A woman operates primarily from her feminine side. However, when they always operate strictly from that side, it leads to potential problems. Because the feminine side is the softer feeling, more intuitive side. Where the masculine side is more the action, more the doing, more the straightforward energy. And so you need both. If a woman is going to be in the business world, she needs to be in touch with her masculine side. Otherwise, she's going to get eaten alive. And conversely, if a man is going to be in a relationship, he needs to be in touch with his feminine side. Doesn't mean that he wears skirts and looks like a pansy. It means that he's able, he has feelings, he's able to talk about his feelings, and he can address and communicate from that part when necessary. However, again, as I said, for many women, there's a challenge because they operate from their masculine side. So today I wanted to put a, put across, put a, together a video that came across with the three indicators that if you're putting out too much masculine energy. And the first one is if you're constantly judging and criticizing a man that you're in a relationship with. It's one of the telltale signs. If you're in a relationship with a guy and he never does anything right, or he does 100 things right, or 99 things right, and you can point out the one thing that he does wrong, and you're letting him know about it, you're telling him how much he sucks, how much he doesn't meet your expectations, you're criticizing and judging him, then you know what? Your energy is coming across as too masculine. I can tell you, no man wants to be with a woman who's got a bigger penis than he has. So if you're coming across that way, then you know what? That's not going to serve a man because you're going to attract the wrong kinds of men even if you get into a relationship with a guy. So if you're, if you're in a situation where you're criticizing and judging constantly and you're letting a guy know, it's because you're operating from your masculine side. The second indicator, and in, this is when you are attracting the wrong guys. And one of the ways you'll know is you'll attract one of two types. The first type is you attract guys and you're constantly butting heads. It's kind of like two rams out in nature, both trying to um, put out your dominance and express how you're the stronger one. Well, you know what? That doesn't work in a relationship because ultimately, when a guy is with a woman and he's doing this and he feels he needs to do this, ultimately realizes that this is like being with another dude. Okay, I don't want to be with a woman who's got a bigger thing than, I did, than I've got, so you know what? I'm out of here and ultimately he'll leave. So that's the first indicator that you're attracting the wrong guys. The second one, this is when you attract the guys who seem nice in the beginning. They're doting, they you know, wait on you, they express their feelings, and it's all wonderful in the beginning. But also you realize you lose respect for these guys because you can walk all over them. You realize they, ha they have no backbone and they've got no balls. And so now the roles are reversed. You've become the man and you've attracted the female counterpart. And that relationship never works because no man wants to be with a woman who walks all over him. And no man wants to be, no woman wants to be with a guy who's got no balls, who has no backbone. So that's this, this is the second indicator that you're operating from the wrong energy. Now, the third indicator, and this is a really important one, this is where you check, it, check in, is this is when you, you become intimidating to other women. See, women are seeing you energetically as a man. Now, that doesn't mean that you look like a man, you look like a dyke, and, you know, <laughs> you drive a bulldozer for a living. It doesn't mean that at all. You can look like a beautiful, exquisite woman. And in fact, I've worked with many in, in the past where these amazingly, exceptionally beautiful women, but who energetically were these tough guys. And I'm telling you, that's not the energy that you want to come across it and be in a relationship at. So when women see you as this energetic man, and one of the ways you'll know is people tell you that you're intimidating. Women say, you know what, you're so intimidating. 
When you hear that over and over from the universe, that's kind of like the universe knocking on your door saying, you know what, there's some stuff going on here that you might want to pay attention to. Now, you have to realize that there's a fine line between confidence and arrogance. Okay, confidence is a very important quality for a male or female to have if you're going to be in a relationship. You got to know, you're, I'm an awesome person. I deserve the best and I'm going to give my best. But when you come across as arrogant and you have to express your ar arrogance to put other people down to make yourself feel better, that's not a very attractive trait in a man and especially in a woman. So I want you to pay close attention to these three signs. I want you to go back and watch this video. If, you know, if you're watching this and this is like getting your attention, definitely go back, make some notes, and then start to explore, start to do your work and find out what you need to do to learn to operate from that feminine side. Now, I know some of you are watching and go, you know what, but if I do that, I'm going to get walked all over. I'm going to get taken advantage of. That's a challenge. That means that you believe that a woman who is feminine can't stick up for herself, can't protect herself because you learn that somewhere along the way. So it's a very harmful belief to have because the truth is, is when a woman is healthy and she's operating from the right energy, she'll be in her feminine but if a guy shows that he's being a dick, if he's being an asshole, then she has no problem calling him on it. Or if he's not taking taking care of himself and cleaning it up, then she walks away knowing that she deserves and wants better. So I know this is one of those heavy little videos, but it's something I'm starting to see happen with a lot of women, especially because of you know the country we live in and the climate of the world today, where a lot of women have to you know take care of themselves and provide, and two income families are, are necessities these days. So it's really important to bring this stuff to the surface so we can look at it, deal with it, make the necessary changes so you can go out and have the relationship you desire and deserve. As always, honor and privilege to be with you. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, go ahead, put them in the box below. I'll see you next time. Much love.